Did you know that there are several ways to connect to your Raspberry Pi remotely and execute commands to run your project? Today in this video, we will have a look at Banana Pi M3, one of the low-cost Raspberry Pi alternatives. We will also see its hardware capabilities and we will also a 3D printed case for it so it can be used as gateway for future projects. And we will discuss all the methods that can be done to program our Linux based board. This tutorial is going to be very good for people curious about learning embedded Linux. So without any further ado, let's jump on in. Turn your dream project into reality with PCBWay. I've personally used their services to produce my own prototype for future IoT projects. They are now celebrating their ninth anniversary where you can make use of the, all the promotions and the coupons that they have. So don't miss the chance. All right, so here's the development board that we are going to use today in our tutorial. Uh, so this is Banana by M3 uh, development board. It has octa-core microprocessor uh, from all winner. It is A83T. Uh, it has eight, uh, seven A uh, Cortex cores. The board also has uh, two gigabytes of DDR RAM. Uh, it also has eight gigabytes of EMMC. It can be used in order to load the operation system image. Uh, so the uh, MCU can boot from there. We have here uh, MPU or management unit that is used in order to power all the uh, chips uh, on this board. Here we have also a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module. You can either use the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet. Uh, on the board also we have camera port. This is MIP uh, CSI uh, camera parallel connection port. And here we have uh, display uh, port as well for TFT. So the board has two USB sockets and one for audio. Here we have IR uh, sensor. We have three LEDs and a mic. So here we have the Ethernet socket and here we have the UART port that can be used for uh, Linux development and loading packages with hard connection. So we have HDMI, we have SATA in order to connect uh, some external storage and here we have the power SATA port. We have here another uh, USB on the go port. So here's the power port that's used to power the board. We have two buttons, the power and reset. And of course, at the back, uh, we have the SD socket, uh, so we can use it to load image to the board, uh, just like that. It's also uh, good to use uh, heat sinks uh, to get the best performance out uh, of this board because uh, things get uh, quite hot. I will test this uh, during this tutorial, so stay tuned until the end. So now let's see how we can use this board uh, and load uh, an operation system and start playing with it. All right, so I have plugged the uh, SD card to my PC and here I'm running uh, Ubuntu uh, and I can see the uh, SD card over here. So in order to burn uh, the uh, Arbian image uh, to my SD card, I'm using this uh, Bellina Etcher. It's a very useful tool to do uh, such uh, function. So what I need to do is to select the uh, image that I want to burn to my SD card and I have it over here. It's an Arbian image. Actually, I've been trying uh, several images and I may go through them. So I will open that and then I will select the drive and then I can start the SD card burning uh, process. Okay, so this will take a while. We'll get back when this is done. Of course, I will be sharing all the needed uh, links to download the, such software and all the commands that I will be using uh, during this tutorial on a GitHub repository, so uh, it's easier to you copy what I'm doing. And of course, there are more images to try on the Banana Pi official website uh, of the development board that we are using, uh, BPI uh, M3. Uh, so here we have uh, some Android images, Ubuntu, Debian, Arbian, uh, and some other uh, operation systems like uh, Raspbian over here. Okay, so after burning the SD card with the image that I've downloaded, I've plugged the SD card to the uh, Banana Pi. Uh, and now in order to connect uh, my PC to the Banana Pi, uh, I can run the terminal. And then I use the fish terminal for that. So in order to be able to connect, uh, there are several methods. 
Uh, first of all, uh, you need uh, to use the Minicom because the image does not have the Wi-Fi credential to be able to connect uh, to the Wi-Fi. Let's start with this to connect to the Banana Pi. Let's run it. So after connecting, you may be asked to log in uh, with the uh, credential that you may have used. Some images have a default uh, login information and they are Pi for a username and Banana Pi for password. So now I need to connect uh, my device uh, to the Wi-Fi network. And for that, I need to use uh, the network manager. Uh, and uh, here, this is the one that's used for scanning the surrounding Wi-Fi networks. Uh, and here's mine. So I will be connecting using uh, a command. Let me show you. So to exit, I press on Control Z. Okay, so this is the command needed for uh, Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so now I have the Banana Pi connected to my network, and we can confirm that. Uh, from uh, this command yes we can see here the star uh, beside uh, my network okay so right now I can execute uh, the uh, update commands these are necessary before adding any uh, new package to the uh, banana pie so let's start sudo apt update As I've said before, the password may be set uh, after first boot. Okay, so this will take a while. Okay, so after executing the update command, uh, now uh, I've executed the upgrade uh, command, and now all the packages of the Banana Pi are being uh, updated. Uh, here, there's one more thing I want to mention. Uh, after having the Banana Pi connected to Wi-Fi, I can connect to the board using SSH, which is uh, also useful. Let me show it to you uh, from here. So all I needed to do is to type SSH uh, and the username that uh, I have set after the first boot. And then I type the uh, IP address uh, of the device. And here I have it. Type yes. Okay, so now it's asking me for the password to connect. Okay, so right now I'm connected over Wi-Fi uh, to the Banana Pi. And at the same time, here, uh, this terminal is connected over UART uh, to the Banana Pi same device. So yes, so there are several ways to uh, control your Banana Pi uh, either remotely or from UART. So if you are on Windows, you can still use the uh, SSH command in order to access your uh, Banana Pi remotely. Uh, and of course, there is another way. Uh, and this is done by using the remote desktop uh, connection to reach uh, the uh, Banana Pi desktop and this is done by using the XRDP package. So here, after upgrading my uh, Banana Pi, it, so it's requesting to do reboot. Let's do that. Now my Banana Pi is rebooting, so I've lost the connection because all the connection here is done over Wi-Fi. So after the Banana Pi has reboot, uh, let's reconnect again. Okay, so uh, the nice thing is that it shows the uh, uptime so it has been on for five minutes we can see the memory usage system load and uh, some other information so now let's install the xrdp uh, package using this command okay so right now we see that the xrdp service uh, has started and apparently there is one more package uh, to be installed and it's the uh, xorg uh, from uh, xrdp uh, this is needed to be installed as well uh, so after that uh, here i'm enabling the uh, service of the xrdp so whenever my banana pie is uh, restarted uh, this uh, service will run automatically and here after that I'm restarting the service and then I'm checking the status of it and I see that the service is active so I can use uh, the remote connect uh, application in order to connect to the desktop of the Arbyan of the uh, Banana Pi so let's connect yeah uh, so yes that's it so from here, actually, we can uh, do everything that we can do over uh, the uh, SSH. So let's have a look at the task manager. Okay, so here we can see all the packages that uh, are running right now. First, we can see the uh, XORG, the one that we are using right now.
Okay, so from here we can also run the uh, terminal from the system. And from here we can do all the development that we can do uh, from SSH. Alright, so the last method of uh, remotely connecting to the banana pie is to use Webmin. I actually find this uh, package is quite useful, especially if your uh, operation system does not have a desktop. So all you need to do is to go to your browser and then type the uh, IP address of the uh, device that you have. Should start with the HTTPS. Uh, and from here you can uh, do everything that can be done uh, from the command terminal and all the necessary information will be visualized like the CPU usage, real memory, virtual memory and all stuff uh, even you can use the uh, command shell from the tools as you can see so here we can uh, see all the Linux related stuff Okay, so here, as you can see, I have added the uh, heatsink to my board on the top of the uh, power management unit and the microprocessor that I have and the RAM. Uh, and I have here the uh, 3D printed case where I can uh, connect uh, this uh, Wi-Fi antenna. So it will act as a gateway. In the upcoming tutorial, I will be using Node-RED and Grafana that are now integrated on my Banana Pi in order to communicate with the wireless devices that I have to act as a gateway. So this brings me to the end of this tutorial. I hope that you have learned something new. Please share this video among your friends and tell them about useful electronics. Stay tuned for the upcoming tutorial and bye bye.